What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my studio. My name is Joseph Ingram. You are you, and we're going to finish this thing today. Finally, I hope. So, let's just get into it. Okay, everything's going. I've got volume from somewhere. Okay, fix that. Trying to keep the chat somewhere where I can read it today, so. Hopefully today I will only use be using black and white, and that's it. I hope audio and video is good. We'll see what happens. Going right into some very thin black. Oh, this is definitely not working. How do I refresh this page? Okay, that's not going to work, I guess. So... I'm going to have to figure out. Okay, there we go. Uh, sound is good. Hi, Tara. Hi, Clark. Hi, Nick. Everybody's here. All right. So. Yeah. We're already in the full screen. Okay. I don't know if that means it's working or not working. I'm trying to get uh, OBS to give me, you know, like a couple of different camera angles rather than just using one all the time. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to like it. We'll see. I'm not trying to be too careful here, but I am trying to get these to be the right shape, so hopefully that's all good. I can always come back and make repairs later. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. We're actually scene switching. That's good. Screwed that up a little bit.
George Pencil Art said, Hi all. Not sure yet what I will work on while watching today. Finished my latest art a couple of days ago. It's looking good, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm glad to hear you finished yours. And that's one of my biggest problems, too, coming up with the next idea. I write down everything and hope that something's good. I don't write down just my good ideas. I write down every idea. Thin lines are the hardest. <laughs> okay, that's looking good. Is this as nerve-wracking for anyone else as it is for me? Probably not. Are you... Nick, are you asking if there was a, if it was a choice to not use the airbrush? Just be, and if that is the the question, I didn't use the airbrush to do this because it's just so dang small and I don't have that kind of control yet. With the airbrush anyway. That's what I meant. I have been thinking about trying to do one with the airbrush and see what happens. But that would be a lot of spraying. So I might, I would probably have to do that outside or something. I mean, a quick spritz here or there, no problem. That's not thin enough. Hi, starving artist. You know, I was watching a video, Nick. Uh, some guy saying, like, asking the question if uh, the G Max or the Max screws on airbrushes were worth it. You know, the little thing that lets you put the pressure up or down. And he was basically saying that if you thin the paint out more than usual and put it at a very low pressure, you'll get extremely fine lines. So I'm gonna have to test that out.
trying to work the paint from top to bottom and left to right so I don't smear it like I normally do. Changing the angle of the brush because there's a little bit of a groove here. I'm trying to paint the wall of the groove. Okay. And please let me know if I put my big dumb head in the way. Oh, Nick, absolutely. This surface that I'm working on, uh, every now and then I take a, like a, one of those like scotch, those green scotch kind of sanding wet sponge things and go over it because <laughs> the last time when I did this, when I did the, the drop shadow, that's the word I'm looking for. When I did the drop shadow, I ended up, I had pencils all over the desk, and I had some brushes and paints and stuff, and I ended up with every single outline in the desk. So. Yep. Overspray is a, is a thing. But it cleans up extremely easy, and that's good. Because the paint is basically dry before it lands on anything. If you're lucky. Keep this in the shot. I may just wait and fill that with a different brush. And of course, everyone will notice that I said... I was going top to bottom, left to right, and then immediately switched up doing that because I forgot where I was. <laughs>
hands are shaking a tiny bit. Very nerve wracking. Because I want it to look good. That's okay. I should be able to fix that. And the white highlight is going to be even harder, so. Looking pretty good here. Drop the brush. That is not the right one. So is the scene switching thing good or bad? Let me know. Oh, Nick already did. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm basically just making some very thin paint so I can kind of wash over some of these spots that are a little bit off on color. And where the paint isn't quite meet, meeting the black, leaving little white gaps, got to get rid of those. I think that's my other red. We'll find out in a second. Okay, this thing really seems to be switching too much. So that's the problem. But as long as it doesn't go wrong, that's okay. If at any point you see it, go to my end screen thing. Then, then I did something wrong. Because that's what happened last week. Okay, as long as I'm here, I can touch up some of this red pretty much everywhere. Make sure it's nice and bright. Well, everywhere there's supposed to be red, that is.
No, Nick. Absolutely not intentional. Thank you. Orange. Before I do that, go back to my black and get that missing spot. Without wrecking anything else. That was cool. Yes, the, on the reference photo, it is extremely thin. And yes, thank you again for pointing that out. I would have missed it. Okay, so now we're going to be getting into the white. Oh, this is going to be tough. You know what? I need... Been here somewhere, hold on. In the hopes of getting this done faster, I'm going to use some of the unbleached titanium white because that'll be a little bit more opaque. But I'm, I'll mix it with the titanium white to try and get the right color white. And hopefully all goes well. Things never go well. <laughs>
occasionally, George, I do, but not very often. Usually most of my black and white stuff is either pen and ink or pencil and ink or just me making my reference for whatever it is I'm going to do. Okay, so now I definitely need to bring up my reference photo for myself. So I know where all of these stupid things go. Paint's a little extra thick and not going on the way I would have would have hoped it would. Hopefully I'll be able to fix little imperfections by just going over the black again a little bit. Oh. Ow. <laughs>
Starving Artist Collective. It'll probably end up going on uh, on a shelf in my bedroom. Or maybe in here. I don't know. I'm still going to have to seal it and seal the the base so that I can glue them together and do the weathering on it because I do I I want it to look like it's old and like it's been on the wall for a couple of decades or something like that. I'm definitely going to have to do some repair with the black. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Somebody outside, I have my window open right here. Somebody outside yelled, hey. And when and when my dad needs me, he yells, Jay. So I ran. Because when he calls me, it's usually not a good thing. It's usually a problem. <laughs> Okay, didn't miss any chat, good. Now, of course, though, my heart rate is a little elevated, so maybe my hands will shake some more. That's always fun.
I don't know how it's looking on screen for you guys. But you can definitely see through the white. It's a little on the transparent side. So I'm just trying to get it to be a little bit more bold. I'll fix that. Lines are coming out a little thicker than I want them, but that's okay. Too much paint on there. Yes, yes, starving. Even when it's a, when it's an accidental call of the dead. I knew that spot was going to be tough. Anywhere where the crack was. It's always a little bit hard to get the paint onto. Mm -hmm. Let's go up here.
my schedule got thrown blown all out of proportion this week. Oh, I just ruined it. First, the, the power outage. And then Saturday, which is when I usually do all my prep for the live stream. My brother called me in a panic and said, Hey, I need to rebuild a computer or I need to buy a new computer built from scratch today. So I had to run out with my brother and build a computer. <laughs> and my sister is coming over tonight. About a month and a half ago, I had mentioned here on the video on the live streams that my schedule was going to get all screwed up and <clears throat> and that I didn't know when my live streams were going to be because I'm going to have to be doing something on Mondays at the same time that I would normally be streaming. So that's about to happen now. So next week, I have no idea if I'll be on Monday or if I'll be on Tuesday or if I do it Sunday. If anybody has an opinion what's better for them, let me know. But I'm going to be doing something Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3 to about 6, which is my stream time. And I'll also be doing that something at 4, Monday through Friday. So, I know some of those overlap, but that'll be me running around like a lunatic trying to get things done for my sister because her kids, they, you know, she lives in technically the city she lives in queens so they take you know regular public buses to school and my sister won't let them do that so they have to be driven to school every day and picked up from school every day so yeah the schedule is going to get weird but I'll, I'll try and keep it going will this get really messy <laughs> I think my paint's getting a little too dry. But hopefully I'll be able to let you, everybody know what I'll be doing. Okay, if people are going to start playing music out there, I got to close the window. <laughs> I hope no one can still hear that, because I can still hear that. A lot of parties going to be going on around here tonight, but, you know, usually they wait till nightfall before they start blasting the music. One of these days, I'm going to move up to the North Pole like Nick, so I don't have to listen to neighbors because there won't be neighbors.
Yes, it may end up being later, too. It may end up being, like, leases, like, at 8 or 9 at night, here. I don't know yet. Because if I'm picking her girls up from school between 4 and 6, I'm definitely not going to be doing it between 3 and 5 like I normally do. It also means I'm going to be missing Lisa's streams. Well, I'll be missing her Wednesday's, no, her Friday stream for sure. But I may be able to do some mobile stuff because the things that I have to do between three and six are basically just me dropping someone off somewhere and then waiting and driving them home. So. Yeah, that's... That's sloppy. Oh yeah, definitely going to have to repair all this black. Well, not really all of it, but you know what I mean. I'm going over parts multiple times because as it's drying, it's just becoming orange, basically. Because it's just drying clearer than I want it to and picking up the color from behind it. That should be good. I could also make this merch. <laughs> and then people will ask everybody, you know, what the hell is it? What the heck does that mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, Clark, uh, most of my neighbors are Spanish and play Spanish music very loud, and there's nothing wrong with that. But no one ever complains, and it goes on till 3, 4 in the morning sometimes, and nothing. But if I blast some, some overkill or some Metallica or something like that, the cops are here in 20 minutes every single time. So it's a little annoying. But I don't blast music very often. I prefer my music for me to hear. Nobody else has to listen to my music. That's just rude. Visible. Just moving my reference to make sure I'm putting stuff in the right spots. The little tiny sections and straight sections I have trouble with. I seem to get the curves to go pretty well. See what I mean?
Am I missing anything else yet, Nick? <laughs> That's one of the really good things about doing a live stream. Hi, Alicia. The fact that, you know, you have multiple sets of eyes on your work. If you're missing something, someone else might tell you. Mm -hmm. Working all by yourself, you might miss it forever. Because this is cement and plaster and pretty soft, every time I move it, I'm getting dust. <laughs>
Whoa. Cat jumped a lot because Lisa showed up. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Intentional paintball splats, Nick? Yep, yep. Okay, I think I've got everything, so just back to repair some of the black. Hopefully not make a mess of that, too. Sounds like Freckles wants in. No, buddy. Luckily, the black coat's a lot better than the white does, so. It's a little easier to get it laid down lightly. <laughs> Spoiler alerts, huh? Thank you, Cats Art Picks, for saying so. Tiny little lines, hard to do.
brighten up this swoop here. Maybe these parts too a little bit. I think that's it. Wow. Can add a couple more little things like give it a second to dry. That. Oh, this is the hard one. How do I do this again? Okay. In case you're wondering, both of these things say dead, as in dead jester. There we go. Let me check the chat, see, see if Nick has told me I'm missing anything else. Yes, Lisa, one of my sociopath collector's items. Yes. Absolutely, Clark. I absolutely do know every single one of them by their meows. <clears throat> Except for one, which is Happy, who doesn't really make... She doesn't meow. She makes, like... If you've ever heard that sound that chipmunks make, that's kind of like a a very faint, chirpy kind of sound, like a brr, brr. she does that. That's it. Red meows. Freckles yells. That's how I knew it was him. Um... Ebony will scratch at the door, like very lightly, just like, hey, let me in. So, just going to do some touch-ups while, while, while we talk. I can do that sometimes, the whole talking thing.
You can't do that, Lisa. The the a kitty cam because they they never stay still. They're constantly up and running around. Or getting in the way, or trying to get in my lap, or, you know, cat things. They're not like hounds who will lay there and do nothing for nine hours. <laughs> A churl? That thing? Good to know. <laughs> she has to scratch. He has to scratch Dory's in protest. Don't misgender my cats. Because, you know, that's the world we live in today. I actually don't care if you misgender my cats. Call them whatever you want. <laughs> I do not live in a cat shelter, but I do... We we do foster cats from time to time for the local animal clinic when they get, like, massive amounts of kittens. Because I'm really good at keeping kittens from, from well, you know, going away. <laughs> uh, Clark, I have no idea. And at the moment, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be streaming next week because of the whole schedule thing i'm gonna try and i'm gonna try and figure out how to do it but i have to come up with a project figure out when to schedule it and when to do it let everybody know when i'm gonna schedule it and when i'm gonna do it so we'll see maybe i'll just take next week off i don't know it, it would it would give me time to get caught up with everything around here i still have half a tree out there that i have to get off of my property and cut up and so yeah at least they did get us our power back so, yeah that's that's looking pretty good i like it <laughs> I still have to get this sprayed. Uh, if I'm basically going to spray it with uh, Krylon Crystal Clear, which will it'll soak into it a little bit and actually give it like a glossy shell to it. And then I'll I'll spray the wall as well, and then that the the glossy clear coat shell that forms around it will give me the ability to glue them together so without ruining them because the glue i use needs s some water added and as soon as you put water onto this stuff it just turns into mush so and i have to paint that too possibly i'm not sure yet if i'm gonna how i'm gonna paint it or what color what color would you guys suggest to go with the orange and reds and light orange? There was originally some yellow in there, but I got rid of it. <laughs> yes, yes, Clark. The, the, the hence I now have nine cats is because every now and then the shelter deems them some of the most friendly, loving cats... I have, and they'll be like, no, they're too aggressive. And they've never been aggressive with me. What are you doing to them? <laughs> you did make a joke, George, but you were right. 
That's why I am an insane cat, uh, an insane feline gentleman, instead of a crazy cat lady. So, okay, I'm going to start wrapping up. Um, yeah, as you can see on the screen, Texture Pack 2 is available on my Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Um, hit the buttons, do the things. The, the video for... August's group art challenge, monthly group art challenge, uh, will not be happening in August. There was only three submissions, so I'm going to roll that into the next one. The next one is basically just post your favorite piece of art you've made in the last year, so hopefully I'll get quite a few submissions on this one and be able to make an actual video out of it, because, you know, three videos... Three, three submissions gives me 15 seconds of video, so, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> or 30 seconds, if I make them long. <laughs> so. Eccentric feline enthusiast? <laughs> Yeah, sociopath. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm not going to disagree with you there. Although, anyone who would want an animal that only does anything for an hour a day when they go out and run around like crazy people, and you're calling me the crazy person? Hmm. <laughs> you know, Lisa, I have not... You know, that could be something I do, because what I do have a painting that I did. It was probably the second painting I've ever done, which was a memorial to one of my cats that passed away. Which is... This giant thing. I don't know if you can how well you can see this. But I've always wanted to go back and... Try and give it some actual, like, fur texture and, you know, make it look like an actual cat. So, hmm, that could be a good idea. I understand, Leisha. Uh, I, I do believe that I made that challenge a bit too hard. Yeah, um, even the submissions we got, they... they it, people were telling me they were struggling with it, so. Yeah, see, Clark, yeah, it, it was a tough one. You know, I was thinking, you know, because of the, it, it was based on the idea of the one I just did where I had the, the, the water clematis and the, the, the butterfly made of fire. So uh, I was thinking along those lines that that would be something someone could come up with. You know. Uh, a bear made out of plants. I don't know. I was thinking. So. Oh. Well. You have an extra month to get it in, Leisha. So if you want to complete it. Go for it. Okay. So, what time is it? 4.32. I'm going to call it early. Thank you all for joining me. And, yeah, I hope I'll see you next week. If not, keep, keep an eye on the socials. I'll, I'll let everybody know what's going on. So, thanks a bunch, and things are closed when they shouldn't be, and I'll, I'll definitely try and see you all next week. Bye.